<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all if you have a modified PlayStation Classic using Project Eris, how you can load up cheats on your games through RetroArch. Now, I know that's a bit of a mouthful, but first of all, you're going to need your PlayStation Classic, and if you'd seen my previous video on how to modify it using Project Eris, then this will work just fine for you, because we will need Project Eris. The final note here is that this is going to be through RetroArch itself, because I believe RetroArch is going to be the better emulator for this and it's just going to be easier to load all this up here. So that's what I would recommend doing. Yes, you can load up cheats through the stock emulator, however I do recommend using RetroArch for this. So first of all, of course we need our modified system and we're going to need to pick the games that we want to modify and load cheats on. So for my choices, I'm going to show two games here. I'm going to use Fear Effect, and I'm also going to use Gauntlet Legends. Those will be two pretty good examples here. Now for using RetroArch in case you're not doing that, there are a couple ways to load up your games through RetroArch on here. One of them is if you set everything to launch as default through the RetroArch core as opposed to the default emulator, like you can see right here. And if I press Start and Select, it brings up RetroArch. So I'll go ahead and quit out of this. To make this change, you can go over to your boot menu and launch this. Then within your boot menu, tap L1, and you can enable launch games in RetroArch from stock UI. Just as a note though, any type of save states you have are not cross compatible between the stock emulator and RetroArch. So that's just gonna be a switch that you have to make if you want to do that. Otherwise, you can also launch RetroArch separately and load up your content through there. But either way, let's go ahead and get the cheats set up. So now that we have the games that we want to modify, go ahead, turn off your PlayStation Classic, remove the USB drive, and take it over to a PC. All right, so the site that we're going to be using for our cheats is gamehacking.org, and they need to be in a .cht format. And gamehacking.org just makes this super easy for us. So the link will be down below in the description for this. And in order to find your games, you just come up to games and let's look up fear effect. This will be the first game. Once it loads up, you just need to find which version you have. So this is going to be important because if you have a PAL or NTSCJ or NTSCU version, the cheats are all going to be different. So I'm going to be using fear effect NTSCU, and then from here you can pretty much select the cheats and everything that you want. So this is going to differ for every single game and there's going to be some notes that you might have to read and such on here. Now if you've ever used a Game Shark or Action Replay back in the day on the original PlayStation, you might know that sometimes some cheats work, sometimes they don't, and Fear Effect is a good example of this. I've actually downloaded all the cheats before and they can be kind of hit or miss. So there's really only one cheat that I want on here, and I know it works mostly fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down, and this is an example of if you only want a select cheat or select few cheats. So I'm going to tick this right here for IPS, infinite ammo, no fear, one shot kills. So I only want one cheat out of this entire list, which is fine. And if you want to do that, you can come up here to the very top and you select lib retro for your format checked and then you can download right here as you can see it is a .cht file which is what we need and you can name it whatever you want to i'm actually just going to truncate this and call it fear effect because that's all i need so we can save that next let's go ahead and look up gauntlet legends so it's going to be about the same thing here. Now there's different consoles this shows up on. Of course, you're going to want the PlayStation version. Mine is NTSCU. I know that for sure. And for this, I just want to download all the cheats so I can select what I want whenever I'm playing. So for this example, again, you can do lib retro, all, and then download. And it's going to be the same thing here, and I'm okay with this file name. So go ahead and save it. So now we have two cheat files, and I'm just going to show you all if you open these up. This is all it is. It's just a text file right here, and this is all the information that is displayed. So there's that, and there's that, and this is the format that it's going to be in. So you can even write this yourself, but game hacking just makes it super easy for us. So once you have your cheat files, you can just grab them, right click and copy, 
Now you need to go to your USB drive, go into Project Eris, OPT, RetroArch, Config, RetroArch, Cheats. And then when you're in here, you can simply paste the cheat files in, and that's it. Your cheat files have been placed there. So now once they have been, just right click, eject your USB drive, move it over to your PlayStation Classic and turn it back on. All right, so now that we have this loaded up, first up, let's use Fear Effect as our example. So I'm just going to boot up this game, and this doesn't have any changes to it yet. This is just going to be a standard game that hasn't been modified in any way. So first of all, I just want to show you an example of the cheat not working. So let's go ahead, move forward in the game a little bit here, and I'm going to get to a point where I'll die. So over here, there we go, looks like I've been spotted. And as you can see, game over, I died a non-spectacular death. So let's go ahead and load up the last save here. And now once you want to load up your cheats as well, you can press the start and select buttons at the same time. And now go down to cheats. So go to cheats, you want to load cheat file replace, and you want to come down to where your cheat file is. So mine is fear effect. And now down here, you want to enable auto apply cheats during game load, apply after toggle, go down to your individual cheat, press X on here, enable it, you can go back, and now apply changes. That's going to be really important. So now we can go back all the way up to the top and resume. So this cheat I've noticed is a little bit iffy. As you can see right here, for example, I'm going to pull out my gun and I noticed that the infinite ammo does not work on here. At one point I did have it working with some kind of combination, but I wasn't able to get it to work after that. Although now that we have pretty much invincibility as well as one shot kills, we really don't need the infinite ammo. So if I come over here, I'll show you this for example. In one shot, I've killed that enemy and I'll let this guy shoot me, and if you look in the top left corner, my health or my fear is not being impacted at all. So this is an example of a cheat working about two-thirds of the way, but this works well enough for me. Now whenever you want to go and play your game, you can hit X, go in here, continue it again, but you might notice once you start playing that your cheats aren't going to be enabled by default, even though we changed those settings there. But this is going to be okay because sometimes you might want to cheat, sometimes you might not want to. Either way, you can just again press start and select, go down to cheats, and then here, it's actually already enabled by default. But in case it's not enabled or in case it's not working on here, you can again just auto apply cheats, apply after toggle, and manually apply changes, and at that point your cheats should be re-enabled yet again for your session when you are playing this game. Now for our last example, let's go ahead and grab Gauntlet Legends. So here we go, I've loaded up my game here and we should be able to see the cheats right off the bat. So I haven't enabled anything just yet, but if we want to enable something, let's just press start and select, go all the way down again to cheats, load cheat file replace, and this time pick your other game because these are all going to be game specific. So Gauntlet Legends for this, and again, auto apply cheats, apply after toggle, and here I have kept all the cheats on here. So just as an example, let's see. We can enable infinite potions, enable infinite breaths, infinite throwing weapons, sure. Infinite health, let's do level 99. Infinite gold, how about max armor? and infinite keys. I think that should be enough fun here. So once you have all your cheats enabled that you want, just hit apply changes, exit out of this, go all the way up here to resume, continue, and as you can see, instant change right there. I now have 9999 health out of 500, as well as 99 keys. So let's even get into one of the levels here and see that in action.
Alright, so there we go. As you can see, we're able to get through that level just fine, and I'd say that was a pretty successful run with all of our cheats on there. So again, you can save and everything just fine on here, but when you relaunch your game, you might just have to manually apply those cheats yet again, which is all good. But let's exit out of here for now. So yeah, as you can see, that is pretty much all there is to it. Downloading, selecting cheats, and loading them up is all super simple and easy to do here, as long as you have Project Aeris running with RetroArch on your system. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.